Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. Going to do a quick video. Might consider this more of sort of end time news, but it also we have the announcement. Of course, January fifth, five G is going to go to, to go live, and, and what does that mean? And there's a lot of conspiracy theories and and questions and concerns, and I, I think some of them are valid. Let's take a look at what the new world order could do with five G and sort of what it might mean. You know, for us until the time of our rapture. So this is from an NIH Gov um, health risk from radio frequency radiation, including five G, should be assessed by experts with no conflict of interest. That you know, I agree with that. So you know, five G is the fifth generation of radio frequency or RF radiation is about to be implemented globally, and they. You know, the issue that I have is they haven't done a lot of investigation to risk on human health, especially. And in September 2017, in an appeal to the United uh, European Union, excuse me, 390 plus scientists and medical doctors had a moratorium on 5G deployment was requested until proper scientific scientific evaluation of potential negative consequences have been conducted and um, their request was not even acknowledged which to me just really stands out like why wouldn't you at least you know have a conversation about it and, and so I found that to be sort of political in nature and, and beyond just normal realm and whether you believe it's harmful or not the scientists were you know saying hey I, I'm not sure Let's let's look at it. Research in Estonia. So this is about graphene. And there is thoughts that graphene, of course, we know it's in the jib-jab and the, in the, that you get in the arm as well, but it connects to 5G somehow. So you have things like coffee machines and self-driving cars because of graphene. And there's a lot of conspiracy theories about graphene as well. Um, and so it just sort of makes the case in this article that we're looking at, uh, we have increased data flows and, uh, internet of things and many things being connected and graphene has been a key technology for taking electronic devices into what they call this new era of 5g. And, um, You know, graphene is an interesting substance. There's a lot, again, a lot of conspiracy theories around it taking over the planet. Uh, graphene, as it says here in the article, is one atom thick carbon material, and it can, it, you know, it essentially is very paper thin at the same time being extremely strong. So it has <clears throat> these extra molecules or bonds, if you want to call it that, that really make it uh, quite, quite a different substance than um, others and it's really actually har harmful to to humans and of course they're talking in this article about the ultra fast 5g uh, and um, the opportunities that will bring and the benefits and the high speeds that will bring and but again there's a lot of problems and unknowns a lot of people think that the 5g technology is too much the radio frequency is too much and it will cause damage so let's take a look at that 5g network uses and this is rfsafe.com uses nearly the same frequency as a weaponized crowd control system and and so that's interesting so the military we've always known they've had sort of high frequently uh, military weapons that they could especially use it u.s army would use it for crowd dispersing guns or or anytime they want to get rid of a, you know, people. And, it, and it, if it says here, if you are unlucky enough to be standing there when it hits you, that would be this, this wave. You will feel like your body is on fire. And then when you get out of it, you, you're fine. But this military equipment uses a radio frequency millimeter waves in the 96 gigahertz range to penetrate the top one and 64th of an inch layer of skin on the targeted individual, which creates that intolerable heating sensation that makes them want to flee. So this article is interesting. It's saying it uses that same technology. So 
I mean, that doesn't mean it's un, it's going to kill somebody, 5G. It just means it does seem to be at the same wavelength or transmission of a weapon. And then you have mass producing graphene, um, which is something that we hear in an American Scientist article. Um, and again, it talks about it's, it's capable of conducting electricity and able to spend millions of times its own weight and yet porous enough to filter the murkiest water. So it has a lot of different prop, you know, properties that are really interesting. It's a high, it's, it's a, you know, single element carbon just formed by one type of bond, which is completely different. Um, and it plays a pivotal role in some of the technology advances that we see coming on the scene. And the, you know, the conspiracy theorists in terms of end times, people believe the graphene will be connected to 5g which will then be used to control your mind and control your body maybe even your body after you've left so if you if you have died could they use this graphene to fill your fill up your body and allow a, a demonic entity or an end times fa fallen angel or, or whatever to use it um in some in some way and that's sort of the, like you know the zombie apocalypse talk that you see involved with it and you know i don't really know you know i'm not saying come january 5th they're going to flip the switch and zombie apocalypse will happen there are people that believe that and if you're one of them hey you know um more power to you now it could cause some problems i'm not saying it won't cause some problems and could it be possible that there is mind control and of people that have graphene in their systems they they have supposedly been uh, putting it in our food if you look at some other conspiracy theories on it. And then we go into Metaverse or, or you know, Facebook's, you know, um, Meta program. And, um, of course, this is going to be connected to 5G and it's going to be pivotal for virtual reality and to escape. It, but it won't be able to escape its sins. I mean, that was interesting when I saw that. Um, as we know, technology will advance quicker and quicker in these end times as the bible tells us um and um this sort of false reality and, and and getting your own avatar um and creating your own universe and your own and interacting with things is sort of scary but again it's 5g that is the difference maker that makes it possible the technology was never there um you know before and so it goes into some of the science fiction stuff in the controversies the, the vr you know solution and focus and they claim it's about going into the world and enhancing it but is it really about just escaping who you really are and your responsibilities and and putting your problems behind you I, you know i'm not sure and again i think to me i've always been as a Christian, worried about people that open up their bodies to attacks and, and demonic attacks has happened since Jesus's time. And if you, for example, do yoga, I mean, a lot of people do yoga, but it can open yourself up if you're not saved. Um, a lot of people will say, clear your mind or they'll get into a trance. Or if you're involved in an apostate church that um, does a lot of singing and dancing and gets into the charismatic movement, I think that's another demonic um, opportunity for you to be possessed. Well, could this virtual reality with 5G and, and graphene be about that? It, it could be. could be those in the tribulation could be certainly uh, overwhelmed by a demonic entity. So it's, it's, it's in a way scary. So this was just a little um, look at maybe where we are with technology, sort of relates to the end time. It just means we're getting closer to the rapture. If you're not saved, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross. He was buried and he resurrected on the third day and came back to life like only God can do. And he, he did what he did on the cross so that your sins, past, present, future, can be can be washed away. So how do you, how do you, how do you accept the free gift? Uh, you have to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus did do what he said on that cross at 1 Corinthians 15 verses three and four especially. Have a great day and subscribe, thumbs up if you're new to the channel.